one day after Governor Andy Bashir announced an executive order mandating masks in Kentucky schools and daycare centers, Attorney General Daniel Cameron filed a legal challenge in the Kentucky Supreme Court. This is simply the fact that he ignored uh, the rules and the laws that were passed by our General Assembly. Republican State Representative Kevin Bratcher of Louisville agrees. It's really bothersome that he just wants to do everything on his own. You know, we passed three bills in this past legislature that said that he has got to work with the legislature, us, the House, the Senate, the voice of the people. Bratcher says he understands the governor's responsibility to protect Kentuckians, but believes many feel ignored. They want a voice in this. They don't. They didn't elect a king of Kentucky. They elected a governor. Senate Minority Leader Morgan McGarvey disagrees, saying the governor's executive powers were designed for situations just like this. I'm a legislator, but the Constitution of the state of Kentucky says that the legislature can't vote on bills until January of next year. Uh, that's why we have an executive branch to take this type of executive action when there is an emergency. We are having another alarming day and our battle against COVID-19. On Wednesday afternoon, Governor Bashir announced nearly 3,000 additional Kentuckians tested positive for COVID-19. He says the numbers underscore the need for masks now. This virus is not fooling around. We can't sit around and have a two-week debate. We have to act. It is attacking us. We have to push back. The Kentucky Supreme Court is already reviewing the scope of the governor's executive powers. The justices heard oral arguments in June and aren't scheduled to take up the issue again until the end of the month. They need to do their job and make this decision and get it, get it going and find out where we are constitutionally with this. Last year, before those laws requiring the governor to work with the General Assembly were passed, the high court agreed unanimously that the governor did have the authority to issue pandemic restrictions. Whether they'll vote the same way this time around is unclear. What is clear is the debate over masks in the Commonwealth is far from over. Reporting live in the Highlands, Drew Gardner, WLKY News.